Hello everyone. If you are a business person and you want to monitor sales and revenue target or display the progress of various project milestones, then a thermometer chart is the best option for you. Moreover, it can be used for fundraising, measuring employee performance, energy consumption and quality control. So, this is Jihadri Anjim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several steps on how to create a thermometer chart in Excel. A thermometer chart is a graphical representation that resembles a thermometer to visualize data related to a single metric or a performance indicator. Before going into the steps, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have the project ID, quantity, cost, revenue in the column B to column E. Our target is to get the profit and then create a thermometer chart with various steps by using this data set. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. To determine the profit, go for the F5 cell and insert the E5 and subtract the D5 from it. Press the enter button and then use the fill handle to get the profit for all of the cells of the F column. Go for the C14 cell, insert the sum function and then choose the whole column of the profit that means F5 to F13. Press the enter button and you have got the perfect total profit here. Go for the achieved result where the target is 20,000 so you'll select C14 and divide it with the C15 and press the enter button to get the perfect achieved profit here. Now we'll move and insert the 2D column chart. So we'll select achieved and completion target, go for the insert tab and in the charts we'll go for insert column or bar chart. Go for the 2D clustered column and you have got the perfect chart here. But now you need to go for the chart design and in the data you will find switch row or column. Click on it and now you have two colors of column chart. Now select the chart, right click on it, go for the format data series and in the format data series, you'll go for the series options and in the series options, you'll go for secondary axis to merge the two chart columns. Now you have merged the two chart columns, select the right axis, delete them, go for the chart element, untick the chart title and grid lines to remove the grid lines and chart title. After that, go for the axis and here remove the primary horizontal. Now select the left axis, right click on it, go for format axis and in the format axis, now here we have 0 to 120% but we need to get the 0 to 100% so we'll go for the minimum as 0 but maximum as 1. And after that, we'll go for the major, which is 0.1 and minor as 0.02. After that, we'll move on to the tick marks, where we'll go for the major type, which is none. But now, we need to show it as our inside tick mark. So, we'll select inside here. So, you will see that here you have got the marking. Now, select the column chart. Right click on it, go for format data series and here you'll go for fill and line option and in the fill option you'll go for the no fill and in the border you'll go for solid line and after that the solid line must have the width of 1.25 and here you've got the perfect chart according to your wish. Now, if you look correctly, then there is a border around it, but as we are trying to create a thermometer, so we need to remove it. So, we'll select the whole chart, right click on it, go for the outline, and here you'll select no outline to remove the outline. 
After that, it is far bigger to show it as a thermometer. To make it look like a thermometer, we'll select the chart and stretch it a bit so that it looks like a portion of a thermometer. After that, we need to go for the insert tab and in the illustrations, we'll go for the shapes to go for the basic shapes and select the oval to get the lower portion of the thermometer. So, we'll select the area where we want to put our oval shape and now we need to adjust the oval shape with the upper portion so that it looks like a thermometer. But it has a border. So select the newly inserted oval shape, right click on it and in the outline, we'll go for no outline. Now it is looking like a thermometer portion where the no fill option is showing the incomplete portion and where the blue portion marked is showing the completed portion. So that's how we can create a thermometer chart in Excel. So that's it for today. You can follow these steps accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. Thanks for watching our video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.